It's never neat and clean, but the public had an involvement. It was a citizen's commission. The redrawing of state political maps has led to some confusion because they don't resemble the current districts. But candidates are already eyeing their next moves. New congressional districts have been approved by the California Citizens Redistricting Commission. Politicians are now looking at a much different campaign battlefield. Action News anchor Dale Yerong joins us with more about these changes and the Valley incumbents seeking another term. Dale? Morning, Jessica. Representative Jim Costa told me today his work is not done, so he will run for re-election in a reshaped, reshaped district, rather, one where he hopes to continue serving the city of Fresno. Fresno Congressman Jim Costa represents the 16th district, which includes Fresno, Madero, Los Banos, and Atwater. The Democrat announced he will run for re-election in 2022, but in the newly redrawn 21st district, which includes cities in both Fresno and Tulare County. I wanted uh, to continue to represent the city of Fresno as my base. So um, that has always been the case. Uh, this is the third reapportionment that I've been involved with in Congress. A special election will be held next year to replace Republican Devin Nunes in the 22nd District. Nunes retired to head Trump Media. It's a really bizarre process we're going to see here. Fresno State political science professor Thomas Holyoke called it bizarre because whoever wins the special election in the current district will then have to immediately run for re-election in the newly redrawn district with a different electorate. I don't think that district has become a lock for Democrats. It seems, from what I can tell, that it's probably going to be a little more Democratic friendly than it was. Holyoke says Republican Congressman David Valadeo of the current 21st district is capable of winning re-election in the new 22nd district. He adds newcomers could also benefit in some races because incumbents won't be as well known in districts where boundaries have changed dramatically. That gives a bigger opening to challenge your candidates than you would normally get. So for some people, this could be seen as a great big opportunity. The redistricting commission redrew state political maps based on census data. The process occurs every decade. Dale Yurong, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.